Hey guys, Caesar here. Making new friends or transitioning a group of unrelated relationships into a community can often feel like a challenge or feels really uncomfortable. However, people are all the same and they desire growing connections within any circle of acquaintances. I want to show you how you can easily help facilitate this. Okay? I've used these three questions many times to break the ice and sort of kill the awkwardness of things. They lead to great conversation, a lot of laughs, and a pretty quick bond between everyone that's present. My wife Tina and I can always fill a room with food and fun and we like to transition casual conversation towards these three questions by saying something like this. Hey, excuse me, this is so awesome. Uh, please help yourself to anything you want, more food or drinks or whatever you like. We really want you to feel like family when you're here with us. Hey, you know what? And we thought it would be fun to try something. We've got these three questions that are super simple to answer, and, but it, you know, it'll help us to get to know each other a little better. What do you say? Okay. So here's the first question. That's how we start. Now, you may be thinking, well, some people won't want to participate. Maybe they'll be too shy. But I have found that everyone's favorite thing to talk about is, wait for it, themselves. Trust me on this, okay? Go for it. The people love it. Then we ask these questions one at a time, and we go around the room, and we have everyone answer before moving to the next question. You'll be amazed at how much you can learn about someone so quickly, and the connections that people will make you know, in each other's lives always surprise me. Okay, question number one. Where were you born? <laughs> okay, simple enough. Everyone was born somewhere, so they all can answer it. And you will immediately find the it's a small world syndrome starting to crop up. People will be like, wow, my dad's from there. Or that's crazy, I went to college in that town. Did you ever go to that old ice cream parlor on Fifth Avenue? Okay, so simple, so cool. Now, after everyone's had a chance to answer, okay, don't rush this, then move on to the second question. It's important not to make this feel like a speed quiz, right? You're trying to build dialogue and connection. Question number two, what is your favorite childhood memory? This one's usually pretty heartwarming. I have found that a lot of people will share similar memories about a vacation they took as kids or a special time with a parent or grandparent. Okay? Again, immediate connections. And when you hear these things, you start to have a much deeper insight into someone else. And this makes it easier, a lot easier, I think, to bear with one another in any kind of community or group. You begin to understand them a little bit. Now, if someone says something like, well, I really have no favorite childhood memories. My family was pretty rough. Well, then, you know, I've heard that, right? Listen, and, and then don't make them feel awkward. Acknowledge what they've said, right? And then thank them for sharing that. And you may want to ask, like, a follow-up question about something they did one time as a kid that was really fun. So maybe it's not a favorite memory, but, you know, just so they can answer, right? Now, after everyone has answered that question and had enough time to sort of ask each other questions, then go ahead and move to the third question. Question number three is, what is the worst job you ever had? <laughs> and, and the answers to this one are usually hilarious. I love this question. And, and when added to what someone's previously shared, I start to feel like I know them a lot better. Now, here's a tip. If you're in a younger circle of folks who've not had a lot of formal jobs in life yet, well, then you might just shift the question or tweak it a little bit for them to the worst chore at home that they ever had to do or hated and why. Okay, And I, again, I like to ask simple follow-up questions to help dig a little deeper and find that others kind of follow my lead in this. And pretty soon, there's just a good communication going on. It's more fun. Okay. By the way, these same three questions work great with a group of closer friends or a staff, too. You may be surprised at how much you'll learn about people you thought you knew pretty well. Now you know the three questions I use to pull down barriers. The next best time to break the ice and start moving a circle of acquaintances toward a tighter-knit group of friends is now. You'll be glad you did, and others will thank you for it. Hey, before you go, be sure to get my three easy questions cheat sheet. Just click the link here. Um, I'll send it to you, and I'll, even, I'll give you my own answers to the three questions. They're fun. As always, thanks for watching.